Welcome to the Lagos Real Estate Insider Podcast, the number one podcast dedicated to helping you create wealth, investing in real estate, and live a world-class life while making a difference and impact in the lives of people. I am your host, Idris Ndagwa. On this podcast, I share insight to the real estate market, advice and strategies for investing in real estate, and some of the latest real estate investment opportunities. I also share some motivation and inspiration for taking your life to the next level. Thanks for turning into this episode and let's dive in. If you want to buy a property in Lagos, Nigeria, I'm going to be sharing step by step to purchase a property successfully without having any issue. So the first step is to follow the right agent for property listing. Now there are different ways to work with our agent. You can follow them on their social media. For example, I used to post available properties for sale or the latest real estate investment opportunities apart from advice and strategies that I do give to our audience. Also, I do post on Facebook, Instagram and across all our social media. So you can follow us to see the latest listing. The second way to work with an agent is simply to contact an agent and brief him about the type of property you want the location and your budget. You know, location determines budget in Lagos, Nigeria. Property prices are determined by their location. For example, if you need a property and you want us to help you get the property, you can simply contact me on WhatsApp. There's a link to my WhatsApp in the description. You can contact me on WhatsApp or you can contact me on Instagram or any of your favorite platforms. When contacting an agent, you want to make sure you know the type of property you want the location you want and your budget range maybe between 60 to 70 million 70 to 80 80 to 100 whatever your budget is make sure it is clearly communicated so after you contact an agent the agent will send you the available properties that may be perfect for you after the agent have sent you the properties go through the properties and anyone that is perfect for you then you can book an inspection for that one now if you want to work with an agent make sure you are working with a professional agent who knows what he's doing and understand the industry and what you need why you need to work with an agent is developers don't have time their property is given to either agents or a real estate broker firm and the real estate broker firm will give it to their agents to market it for them so that's why you need to work with the right agent step two is inspection booking now after agent have sent you the available properties the next step is to book an inspection for a specific property that you want both of you will agree on a specific date time and the agent will tell you where to meet so once you meet it will take you on the tour to see the property yourself make sure you check the property is it something you like if it's not perfect for you then you can ask him to look for another one and if it is perfect for you then you can move forward step three is payment now once you inspect the property and it is perfect for you the next step is to make a payment now the way you will pay money depends on the developer of the property if the property is individual development make a payment to a developer account after making payment to the developer's account, then you pay the agency fee. If the property is developed by a real estate company, you don't have much to do. Once you inspect the property and you like the property, you are satisfied with the property, there is a subscription form. Then fill the subscription form and the company's account number will be on the subscription form. Don't pay money to the agent account. Pay money to the company's account once you fill the subscription form and make a payment to the company's account the company will confirm your payment and send the receipt contract of sale and deed of assignment to your email the email you fill in the subscription form so when filling a subscription form make sure you provide the right information so once you finish paying if the property is from a company the company will settle the agents and step four is documentation now if the property is for individual development the developer will provide the of assignment allocation and other documents and it will be delivered to you through your agent you will be communicated how the document will be delivered to you 
if you enjoyed today's episode here are three ways you can work with me support me and this podcast number one share this episode with a friend family co-worker or a team who you think will find it valuable if you share it with any of those people and they find it valuable they will thank you later being the source for sharing it with them which strengths your relationship and help you take your relationship to the next level number two refer me to a friend who need a property or a guidance for their real estate investment if you know anyone who need a property or want to make an inquiry or you need a property and you want to make an inquiry don't hesitate to contact me on 070-4408-6868 again 070-4408-6868 or you can email me at real estate with idris at gmail.com again real estate with idris at gmail.com and finally number three is to help me rate this podcast on your listening platform whether you are listening on apple spotify google amazon music or any of your favorite platform help me rate this podcast and when you rate it and leave a review it helps other people just like you discover the podcast as a very valuable podcast thanks for listening to today's episode and i will talk to you in the next episode